So with this question, we've got 3x squared cubed. So this is 3x squared times 3x squared times 3x squared. So again, you don't really want to write that this step. I'm just saying it for your understanding. But really, we've got 3 cubed here. So we want to cube the 3 and cube the x squared. 3 cubed is 27. x squared cubed is x power of 6. So really, you want to jump to this stage if you can. So this time, we've got 9 to the power of a half, x to the power of 8 to the power of a half, and q squared to the power of a half. So this is 3. These two multiply, because that's obviously square rooting, so that's just 3. These two would multiply, would give you x to the power of 4. And these multiply to give q to the power of 1, or just q. So here we've got 64x power of 6 over 9y squared. Now it doesn't really matter which way you do these around, but I'm going to put the power of 1 first and the power of a half second. Because negative 1 times a half is negative a half. So negative 1 reciprocates the fraction. So it just um, puts the 9y squared on the top and the 64x power of 6 on the bottom. To the power of a half... So it's square rooting. Square root of 9 is 3. And then we got y squared to the power of a half over square root of 64 is 8. And then x power of 6 to the power of a half. So it's 3, y, 2 times a half is just 1, which is just y, over 8. And then 6 times a half is 3. So I'll give you that. 3y over 8x to the power of three.